Thinking of medieval food, you might be picturing delicious feasts of roast pheasant, vegetables, pies, and pastries. But there's a less appetizing side to the cuisine of the Middle Ages than you might have had in mind. Both the upper and lower classes of medieval Europe had their fair share of dishes that would probably leave a modern diner feeling queasy. From unusual animal feasts to literal garbage, today let's lift the lid on the nastier side of medieval cuisine on History Unveil. Number 1. Garbage Yes, you heard that right. First up on the list of medieval cuisine that sends a shiver down modern day spines is literally called garbage. Hey, call it like you see it, right? But what exactly was garbage and how did it come to earn this nasty moniker? Well, this dish was made from the less desirable parts of a chicken, such as the head, feet, liver, and gizzards. These ingredients were stewed in a broth made from spices like pepper, cinnamon, cloves, mace, parsley, and sage, along with bread. To add some flavor, the dish was served with ginger, verjuice, salt, and saffron. It's hard to imagine this dish being a crowd pleaser, especially when compared to the more luxurious meats and sauces that were also on offer during medieval feasts. But for the lower classes who had limited access to more expensive ingredients, garbage was a way to stretch their resources and make the most out of what they had. It's worth noting that this dish was called garbage not just because of the ingredients that went into it, but also because of the way it was often served. It was common for the dish to be cooked in a large pot, and for people to simply scoop out portions for themselves. This would have been an unappetizing sight to many, especially when compared to the more visually pleasing dishes that were present at the tables of the wealthy. I can't imagine too many diners, historical or modern, would like to have their dinner served to them in a glorified trash can. Thanks to the name alone, this is one dish we think we'll pass on. Number 2. Roasted Cat Roasted cats may sound like something straight out of a medieval horror story, but believe it or not, it was once a common dish in medieval Europe. The practice of eating cats can be traced back to ancient Egypt, where they were considered a delicacy and were even worshipped as gods. But it wasn't just the Egyptians who worshipped feline cuisine. Throughout medieval Europe, cats were seen as a cheap and readily available source of protein. But why cats? Well, for one, they were considered pests and were often hunted and killed for their meat. Additionally, during times of food scarcity, cats were seen as an easy alternative to more traditional meats like beef or pork. In fact, during the 14th century, when the Black Death decimated Europe's population and led to widespread famine, cats and other small animals were often the only protein available. The preparation of roasted cat was simple. The cat was skinned, gutted, and then roasted on a spit over an open flame. Can't exactly say that's an appetizing mental image. The meat was said to be dark and gamey with a strong, distinctive flavor. The dish was often served with a variety of herbs and spices to mask the taste. Of course, in modern times, we think of cats as one of man's best friends. And to many, their cat is totally a valid part of the family. With the idea of eating them being pretty repulsive and illegal in many countries. But in the Middle Ages, it was a common practice and one that was accepted as a necessary means of survival. So the next time you hear someone say, I've had to eat some pretty questionable things in my time, you can let them know they've got nothing on medieval Europe and their love of roasted cat. Number 3. Lamprey When you think of medieval cuisine, you might imagine the rich, ruddy-faced lords feasting on hearty stews, crusty bread, and rich sauces. But there were also some dishes that might make your stomach turn, and one of the most interesting and downright bizarre is lamprey. This ancient fish, which is often compared to an eel, was considered a delicacy in medieval Europe and was served at the tables of kings, nobles, and those ruddy-faced lords. First of all, let's talk about what a lamprey actually is. These fish have a long, eel-like body with a row of sharp teeth and a round, sucker-like mouth. They're found in the Atlantic and Great Lakes regions of North America and Europe, and can grow up to four feet long. 
They're considered a parasitic fish, as they attach themselves to other fish and feed on their blood. Not something most of us would look for on a menu. In medieval Europe, lamprey was considered an impressive dish and was often served at banquets and feasts. The fish were caught in rivers and then transported to cities where they were sold to the wealthy. Eating lamprey was not for the faint of heart, as the fish had a very strong, well, fishy taste, and the texture of the meat was described as being slimy. Many people found it difficult to eat, but for the medieval elite, the challenge of consuming such a delicacy was part of the appeal. So the next time you're at a medieval banquet, you might want to pass on the lamprey and stick with the beef. But it's interesting to imagine that this creepy fish was actually considered a luxury and was consumed by the wealthy and powerful in medieval Europe. Some people might compare this to the present-day elite status of a plate full of slimy oysters. Number 4. Animal Blood Jelly If the word jelly conjures images of sweet treats and childhood desserts in your mind, then think again. In the medieval times, this dish was made from the blood of pigs, cows or sheep, mixed with breadcrumbs and spices, then set in a mold to create a gelatinous consistency. But don't be too quick to judge. This dish was a staple in medieval Europe and was believed to have had health benefits. It was high in protein and iron, making it a popular choice for those who worked hard labor. And if you could get over the texture, it was said to have a rich, meaty flavor. That being said, its preparation was rather gross. The blood had to be collected fresh and quickly before it coagulated. Once collected, it was mixed with the other ingredients and poured into a mold to set. The result was a dark, congealed mass that was sliced and served as a side dish or added to stews and soups. While the thought of animal blood jelly might make you squeamish, it was just another day-to-day -day meal for medieval Europeans. However, it's not a dish that you're likely to find on a menu today, as it fell out of popularity in the century since and is not commonly consumed anymore. Although blood sausage or black pudding is still common in Ireland and parts of the UK and Germanic countries. Feeling hungry yet? We hope not. But if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to like it down below and subscribe to the channel. It only takes a second and it's truly the easiest way to support the channel. Plus, it means you get to see more of the content you find most interesting here on History Unveiled. Number 5. Tripe à la mode du corps Tripe à la mode du corps, also known as tripe in the style of con, was a popular medieval dish that would make even the most adventurous eaters squirm. The dish was made from the stomach lining of cows or pigs, which was cleaned, boiled, and then simmered with onions, white wine, and spices. The idea of eating the stomach lining of an animal might not sound very appetizing, but in medieval times, people weren't quite as picky about their food as we are today. They would eat whatever was available to them, and tripe à la mode du can was considered rather luxurious indeed. The dish was particularly popular in the city of Caen in Normandy, France, where it was said to have originated. It was often served as a main course at banquets and other special occasions. The dish was also a favorite of the Normans, who would often take it with them on their travels and even on their conquests. But why the stomach lining, you might ask? Well, it was a cheap and easily accessible ingredient, and it was said to be a good source of protein. But it also had a unique texture, and the long, slow simmering helped to tenderize the tripe and infuse it with the flavors of the onions, wine, and spices. And while tripe à la mode du can may not be something that would be found on a modern-day menu, it was a beloved dish in medieval times that holds a special place in the culinary history of France. Who knows, maybe someday future humans will look back in disgust that we ever ate chicken nuggets and burgers. Now, I don't imagine that this video offered up any inspiration for your next foray into the kitchen, but even so, make sure to check out the rest of the channel for more videos uncovering the lesser-known sides of medieval life. And don't forget to subscribe so we see you here next time on History Unveiled.